welcome YouTubers. I'm going to talk a little bit uh, about the University of Washington Project Management Certificate Program. And it's a program where we uh, took classes in Bellevue, Washington, in their Bellevue campus. And um, I wanted to, I want to introduce everyone a student's perspective of this program. And um, here I have with me, can you go ahead and state your name, what, what industry you're from, and why you decided to take the Project Management Certificate Program. Yeah, thanks, Lorena. Uh, my name is Brandon Hall. Uh, I work for the Boeing Company. Uh, I'm sure you guys probably realize it's an aerospace company. I do come from somewhat of a unique organization within Boeing, and that's the technology organization. So we do data analytics, we do uh, machine learning, all the buzzword types of things you hear from us. Um, what drew me to the class, uh, we all within Boeing kind of act as mini project managers. I'm sure I've mentioned this in class a bunch. Um, where you kind of have to engage your stakeholders individually, you have to come up with a theme, you have to come up with a, a topic, and really just manage the whole project by yourself. And I didn't have any formal training in that, and I really felt like this UW class was going to give me that, um, really just formal training I, I needed to facilitate the projects a little more efficiently. So at high level, can you <clears throat> sort of describe the, prog uh, the program, um, what it entails in terms of class? Yeah. And any other items? So the class was three sessions long, I think over nine months, nine month period. Um, the first session was really just kind of an overview of project management. Let's get the whole class acquainted with the terms. Uh, have you been in a project manager role before? Have you not? Uh, you know, just open ended project management stuff. As you got into the second session, we learned more of the technicalities of project management. So one of the things that we laugh about was earned value. A very difficult concept to understand uh, and really just more almost self-reflection type of stuff so we did like a, uh, a presentation on just yourself a little awkward for, for myself and uh, some people in the class and so more technical in aspects and you got to the third session which was the capstone and it was intended to bring all of the generalities of session one with the intricacies of session two together to actually complete a full project um, and I was on Lorena's team for that, so. Yeah, we had a great time. So, um, <clears throat> in terms of the capstone, how prepared did you feel when we arrived to that moment, having uh, done the first session and the second session? <laughs> uh, not very. Uh, I don't come from any project management background. So, um, I mean, really learning on the fly with everything. Um, I really kind of winged everything I felt like. And, uh, and it worked. We ended up passing the class, which is great. Mm -hmm. But I mean, honestly, it feels like this whole class has been just learn as you go, learn as you go, learn as you go. I mean, we're on a nine month sprint, technically. And uh, you just kind of have to learn what you can and, uh, and go from there. Cool. And then uh, in terms of workload, uh, what were your weekends? Was there a lot of reading? Was it a lot of uh, heavy reading material in terms of preparing? the Monday and Wednesday class? Yeah, um, first session was a lot of reading. That The whole overview of project management required a lot of reading. As you got into the more intricacies of project management, it was more hands-on, I felt like. Um, and then as we got into the capstone, I mean, virtually no, no reading. It was more just interactive with the team. Um, so it kind of tailored off from a lot to medium to really none. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, Arena. Thank you, YouTubers.